A recent FBI sting recovered four children in Kansas from a sex trafficking ring, two from our area and two from the Wichita area. Sex trafficking, as these two brave victims will tell you, can happen to anyone, and your child could fall victim in the most innocent ways. When I was seven years old, at that time, I was entrusted to the care of a nanny who was a sexual predator. He sexually assaulted me. He forced me into child pornography and sold me to other men for sex. My pimp was my own birth father. Brooke Axel and John Price bravely shared two very different experiences. I've got a unique story because not too many men are willing to speak out on what they've been through. That ended in them both becoming victims of sexual exploitation. It is an issue that cuts a across race and, and class and even gender. Uh, both boys and girls are exploited in this way. It wasn't until Brooks' I, grace and candidness The younger you are, the easier you are to silence and control. Makes so an impact with these young people, people in Johnson County. When I was sexually assaulted, that is, that is sexual abuse. Uh, when I was forced into child pornography, that's sexual exploitation. And when I was sold to other men for sex, that was Human trafficking. There are points where I have breakdowns. John Price says he was sexually abused as a little boy. The earliest memories I have is or at the age of four. John says his abuse turned into sexual exploitation and trafficking before he turned eight years old. Someone that I was pimped out to had me performing sex acts on another child, a female child, um, with the understanding that if I didn't, I'd be hung out the hotel room window by my neck. Once out of the home, John says it's taken years to deal with his abusive father. It wasn't until after I was taken away that I was able to start learning the tools that I needed to separate the man that he should have been from the man that he was. Find an adult. For Brooke, reaching out to young people helps her heal. And in a rare moment, a young girl seeks her out after this seminar. I had a, a young woman approach me who's only 11 years old and confided in me that she had experienced sexual exploitation and that she was ready to find help. John says part of his healing is um, forgiveness. I forgive him. And the forgiveness isn't just for him. The forgiveness is also for me. Now I want to tell you about the impact of social media as a recruitment tool. One major website, Backpage.com, is coming under fire by the federal government. Senator Claire McCaskill calls Backpage.com the market leader for selling children for sex. A large percentage, in fact the majority of children that they come in contact that had been trafficked for sex, it was done on Backpage. Anyone who works in this area trying to rescue children and help children uh, they will immediately tell you that the biggest offender is Backpage. There is help. Sunflower House in Johnson County provides services for children and families. I have a full story about the Sunflower House on KMBC.com, and I hope you'll check it out.